So I'm Betty Laurinsova and we are in the Konorani plantation. This is a biosphere shelter. It's an initiative that started with a competition, an architectural and design competition. So the competition was part of the national development strategy for arts and culture on the island. That was managed by Culture Vanin and Arts Council together. I lived in Sweden at that time. I lived in Stockholm. I was working as an urban designer and I was planning to move to the island. It was a couple of months before I took the leave to actually move and I was researching the island from my computer. I think it was a Facebook group of the Society of Architects and I joined their Facebook group and they reposted the post by Culture Vanin about this architectural competition. And I asked my friend, actually, Michal Kotvan, who is also a Slovak architect, I asked him if he would like to go into this competition with me to, to do a proposal. He was a great help in, in this to actually produce all the drawings we needed, how to chop all the sticks in right angles and right sizes. So I saw it as a good way to connect myself with the place where I'm going ahead of a time and maybe even potentially if things go well and I would be selected as a good step to enter the, the island as a, as a professional and they came back to me with uh, that they actually want to make it happen and they want to build it. It, it was a, quite a puzzle and to help this puzzle to put together was pioneer carpentry and construction who is responsible for building the, the shelter and I think they have been great in putting the puzzle together. It's quite a unique project, it's not something that regular joiners deal with on, the, on their day-to-day -day work and uh, they said that they spent a couple of, a couple of times of, in a pub solving the puzzle, trying to figure out how to put it together so it actually works. I also got help actually from the structural engineer who was in the BB Consulting. So they are responsible for the roof, how wide the roof is actually where it is. So we try to use Manx local timber. So it's a timber structure made from Isle of Man sawmill, which is pressure treated to kind of resist weather and hopefully last a while here. And a part of using a Manx timber was because it's, it's a biosphere shelter. So a big part of the biosphere is people, the society, which has some relationship with their environment. So the choice of material was, was one of it. It's opened towards Douglas Bay. So you can sit there and enjoy the views while being sheltered from the north winds. It has a plan of a triangle. So it's a triangular shape if you look at it from the top. And the triangle kind of goes through the whole structure because the roof is also slated for the water to, to fall down. So if you look at it from the back, it's, it looks like three triangles joining together. And one, one wall of it is perforated, so there are little gaps in it. So when you sit there, you can see who's coming at you from, from the left, from the path, or the other way around when you're arriving, you see if there's someone hiding. So it's the safety aspect was actually how it started. But I think as a result, it also frames the view really nicely when you're coming because you can, you can look at the Douglas Bay in between those little sticks and I think it frames it very nicely. The shelter is built on ground screws that are about 750 millimeters, so they're this big. You can see them if you go around. And they're drilled into the ground. There's about 18 ground screws that hold this. They're standing on a timber frame and then the whole thing stands on top of that. So that means that there's a little gap under the shelter. So we didn't have to touch the landscape much. So if someone decides to remove it in the future, you can just plug the crown screw out and you won't even know that there's ever been a shelter. Because if you're putting something into the nature, you need to understand that it's, there's not gonna be a scar after, after you remove it. So we were trying to create a structure that would fit in and blend in to the forest so it wouldn't disrupt it, it would still respect the natural environment around it. 
and I wanted to bring this in and I wanted to give it also an interactive element so it's not only you come and you sit and you can make but it is going to motivate you to do something else and to actually connect with your environment even more so we're having right now in the process there are beautiful animal boxes and animal houses made by Henry Wood in his Peel studio where there's going to be a little treasure hunt path around the bushes and the, the young trees where you can search for these different creatures. I think his style is very quite like a fairy tale whimsical and I think that works very well with bringing like the folklore part of the Manx in, into the project, uh, into the biosphere. Yeah, it's been, it's been really nice way for me as I wanted to get connected with all these people and uh, to create something with them. I think it's the one of the best ways to connect with your new home.